Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to another Recipe Tuesday. The recipe that I have today is Crock-Pot Chicken Drumsticks. It only consists of five ingredients. Um, one of the steps that it's having you do after it's done in the crock pot, it's having you put it in the oven and broil it on each side for two to four minutes. So I don't know if that's really necessary to do or if you could leave that step out. Um, I guess that would just add a little bit more crispiness or something to the or something to the chicken. I, I really don't know. But what it takes to make this is chicken drumsticks, paprika, cumin. It says garlic salt. I would use garlic powder instead. Barbecue sauce. And if you know how to make your own, which there's not really a whole lot to that, um, you could definitely do that. Or if you like using a good store-bought brand, you could do that. So what you're going to do to put it together is in a small bowl, you're going to combine the paprika, cumin, garlic, salt, or powder, either one, I prefer the powder, stir to combine. Sprinkle over the drumsticks and rub all over chicken skin. Place chicken drumsticks in slow cooker. I need to back up. The picture that I have here has the chicken laying on some type of a cookie sheet where you're adding, you know, all of the toppings before you put it in the slow cooker. But what it says, you do put it in a slow cooker. You pour one cup of barbecue sauce over the chicken drumsticks. Cover and cook on low four to six hours until the chicken is tender. You can cook it on high if you prefer, but reduce the hours on high. So I would think if you wanted to cook it on high, it would be somewhere around two. I'm just going to use simple math and just cut it by half. When you're finished, you place the chicken on a baking sheet lined with foil and cooking spray. Brush half of the barbecue sauce on the drumsticks. Broil two to four minutes until it begins to brown. Okay, so that puts a little bit of a browning effect on the chicken. After that, you're going to remove it from the oven, flip the drumsticks, and brush it with the remaining barbecue sauce, and broil another two to four minutes until brown on the other side. And then after that, it says serve hot and um, enjoy. Now, what I will say, because this is a slow cooker recipe and I do like using my slow cooker a lot, um, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to use your imagination, um, you could probably modify this um, a little bit to your liking. Not that this is bad. I like what I see here. But anytime I've gone to go and make a recipe, I'll follow the directions as it says the first time. The second time around, I'm usually figuring out a different way to go about making the recipe, making it a little bit more my own, more or less. Uh, you know, what I could add to, take away, if I could use less of something, more of something else. So I would do that. Um, I'll be honest with you, there is one other ingredient you could probably mix in with this. I wouldn't use a lot, just a thought. I think it would give it a little bit of like a uh, chicken teriyaki effect. And what I'm talking about is a little bit of soy sauce. Now, when it comes to soy sauce, I have used different brand names over the years, Le Choy. I have used some store-bought brands or store name brand of soy sauce, but I always keep coming back and I am loyal to Kikkoman, K-I-K-K-O-M-A-N. When it comes to soy sauce, as far as I'm concerned, 
that's about as good as it gets. And I usually don't buy a little bottle. That's something I usually go and purchase at a wholesale club and I in a little bit of a big bottle. Um, and then if I have, you know, a bottle that I get at the regular grocery store, you know, if I use it up or it's empty, I just refill that as I go along. Um, and I know that that saves me a little bit of money when it comes to um, purchasing soy sauce or even any other type of condiment that I know that I would use on a fairly regular basis. If I can get a better deal buying the larger amount and I know I'm going to use it, I'll go ahead and pay the money and get the bigger amount. But Aside from what I just mentioned with the soy sauce, you might be able to go a couple, maybe three other directions with this particular recipe. Uh, you know, the sky is almost the limit, I'm thinking. You know, um, now I would be putting, I'll tell you what I would add to it as well. This is just me um, looking at it. I would add a little bit of maybe a little bit of black pepper to it. Um, you know, if you like a little bit of a sweet barbecue sauce, you can add a little bit of sugar to it to give it a little bit of a sweet texture. So, yeah, if you guys want to try this, I'm going to give it a try. Anything that has to do with a slow cooker recipe and it's not that many ingredients, I would say five or less, I'm definitely there. Um, so anyway, I want to thank each and every one of you this morning, uh, for watching this recipe Tuesday, and, um, I will see you back here on Thursday afternoon. I hope you guys have a great remainder of your Tuesday, and I will see you guys back here then. Bye.